How would you like to get your clients and customers quick and easy access to the resources they need while potentially increasing your email opt-in conversion rate? In this video, you'll learn how to create a multiple choice opt-in form using Thrive Leads. Hi, I'm Christine with Thrive Themes. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, I invite you to do that. And if you ring the bell, you'll be notified when we publish new videos. So you are a multi-talented business owner and you have a lot to offer your clients and customers. If you offer several different kinds of services or products, you might be doing one of these two things. You might have created a new lead magnet and a new opt-in form to get people interested in each service you offer, which means that they might be scattered throughout your website or you're keeping things simple with just one lead magnet offer that generally relates to all of your services, but that means when people sign up, you don't really know which service they're most interested in. Here's a solution that will grab your audience's attention. It'll quickly direct them to the resources they need, and it'll give you more insight about your subscribers by tagging them in your email marketing service. That way you can send more targeted campaigns to your subscribers and hopefully increase your conversion rates. So here's what we're going to be creating today. So I've got the homepage for my website here, and I've also got a light box asking me to choose what I need help with. I can either choose launching my product or building an audience. I'll choose launching my product. And now we are being offered an ebook on 101 product launch tips. Let's go ahead and sign up for that. Okay, so now we are taken to a thank you page where we can download the ebook. Now behind the scenes, I've been added to this person's email list and I've been tagged as being interested in building an audience. Now, what if we had chosen the other option? So let's go back to our light box and now let's choose building an audience. And so now we're being offered a audience building checklist. Let's go ahead and sign up for that checklist. Let's go ahead and click the button to sign up. And now we are taken to a slightly different thank you page where we can download that lead magnet. All right, so let's start building. So I'm here in the Thrive Leads dashboard. Let's create a new lead group. Let's give it a name. Let's click Add Lead Group. And let's go ahead and add a new opt-in form. So using Thrive Leads, you can add lots of different kinds of opt-ins to your site, such as opt-ins that appear inside your content. You can do light boxes, post footers, ribbons, and more. Light boxes are pretty popular, so let's use that one. Next, we'll need to add a form, so I'll click the green Add button. And let's click the button to create a form. Let's go ahead and give this a name. Let's click Create Form. And let's customize our form by clicking on the blue pencil icon. And as you can see, Thrive Leads comes with dozens of gorgeous designs to choose from. They're clean and modern, and they look great with all kinds of WordPress themes, especially because they're highly customizable. And these templates are available for each of the opt-in types in Thrive Leads. So ribbons, slide-ins, post footers, and more. Now, some of these designs look similar to each other, and that is because our designers have provided multiple variations of these design templates in order to cover the different kinds of opt-ins you might want to create. So for example, these all have the same overall design, but this one is for a multiple choice opt-in, this one is for a yes or no opt-in, and this one is for a two-step opt-in. Now, if you're looking for a particular type of opt-in, for example, today we're going to be creating a multiple choice opt-in, you can use the search field in the upper left-hand corner. I'll search for multiple choice. All right, and so let's use this template. So to explain how this works, let's quickly take a look at our example again. And so clicking on this first button here will take people to this page where people can download a product launch tips ebook. Now let's go ahead and reload this page. And if we click this button down here, that will take people to a different page where they can opt in to get an audience building checklist. Okay, so let's head back to Thrive Leads. And so this is the default state which will load when the page loads. Now, if we go to the plus sign in the lower right hand corner, we can see that there's two more states. There's one for this button here, launching my product. Let's go ahead and take a look at what that looks like. 
Okay, so here is state one. And let's also take a look at state two, which right now looks exactly the same, but we're going to go ahead and customize this in just a moment. So let's head back to the default state. And what's really nice about Thrive Leads is that states one and two are already connected to these buttons by default. So let's select this button, make sure that the button element is highlighted in the breadcrumbs. Then let's go to animation and action. And we can see that the action to switch state is already set up and it will take people to state one. And that is the same for the second button, but it will switch to state two. So everything is all connected for you. All you have to do is make your customizations. So let's start by replacing this image. Simply click on the image, then go to the background style tab and choose a new image. Then I'll customize the text. Simply click on the text that you want to change and start typing. Now, if you would like to change colors for elements, that's really easy to do. Simply click on the element, make sure that it is highlighted in the breadcrumbs, then go to the background style tab, and then you can choose a new color. Now I'm fine with this one, so I'll simply cancel out of here. And now I can move on to customizing state one. So I'll click on the plus sign in the bottom right hand corner, and I'll select state one. And again, I'll choose a new image, and I'll also customize the text on this page. Okay, so now that our customizations for state one are finished, go ahead and make your customizations for state two. Now at this point, we have not yet connected our email service to our lead generation form, but we will come back to this in a few moments. We'll need to create our thank you pages first. Okay, so let's create our thank you pages. These are the pages that people will see after they click the submit button on the opt-in form. Because we have two different opt-in offers, we will need two different pages. So let's add a new page. Let's give this page a name. And let's launch Thrive Architect. So we are going to use a pre-built landing page. So here we have different landing page sets where each set has matching pages so you can build your marketing funnels with a cohesive look. In this case, I will choose this set and here are all of the pages in this set. I'll go ahead and choose the thank you page. Now the main feature of this page is the download button. So let's set that up first. Assuming your lead magnet is some kind of downloadable PDF, you can simply upload it to the media folder on WordPress. So let's go to our media library. I've got my lead magnet right here. I'll go ahead and copy the file URL and let's head back to our thank you page. So let's select this button here. Make sure that button is highlighted in the breadcrumbs. Then I'll go to the animation and action tab. Now I've already got a link set up here, so I'll go ahead and edit that. And I'll simply paste in the target URL. Okay, so let's continue with customizing the rest of this page. Let's start with the typography. I'll change the typography for the entire page by going to the page settings. Then let's go to the typography tab and I'll click the button to edit landing page typography. Now you can customize the typography elements individually if you like. You can also customize all of the headings at once by clicking on this middle green line here and make sure that all headings is highlighted in the breadcrumbs. So let's select a new font. And you can also customize all of the paragraph texts at once by clicking this middle green line. So let's go ahead and select a new font. And then if you like, you can customize all of the typography elements all at once by clicking on the outermost green line. You'll see that all elements is highlighted in the breadcrumbs. And then you can choose a new font and a new color for everything. When you're finished making your customizations, click close. Next, let's customize the main color for this page by going to the central style panel on the right. And let's choose a new main accent color. You can use the color picker to choose a new main accent color. 
You can also go into Thrive Leads and select one of the colors that you're using in your opt-in form, and you can save it as a favorite, and that way it'll show up here under My Colors, and you can keep your colors consistent. Now from here, you can go ahead and customize the image, the text, and other details, and when you're finished, don't forget to save your work. Okay, so now that you're finished with your first thank you page, don't forget that you do need to create another one for your second opt-in offer. Next, we'll need to connect the lead generation forms in each of our form states to our email service. So let's navigate to our form. Here is our light box and I'll click the edit button. Let's go ahead and edit this design. Now, right now we are in the default state. Let's use the plus sign in the lower right hand corner and let's go to state one. Now I'll select the lead generation form. Make sure that form is highlighted in the breadcrumbs. Then under the main options tab, I'll click add connection. Now, after you connect your email marketing service with Thrive, you will see it listed here. With active campaign, you do have the ability to choose a specific list. So I will choose a list and you can also choose a specific form. And let's also add a tag. This tag will be sent to your email marketing service when someone opts in. And it's really important so that you know what your subscriber is interested in. And then you can send targeted marketing campaigns to everyone on your list who has that tag. So I will tag everyone who opts in to this ebook about product launching with product launch. Next, we'll need to specify what happens after someone submits the form. You can either redirect to a custom URL, you can show a success notification, or you can switch states. We are going to direct people to our thank you page for this specific state, which contains the download for our product launch ebook. So let's go ahead and redirect to a custom URL. And if you start typing the name of the page, it should pop up. All right, so with that, our lead generation form has been connected to our email service. You can go ahead and do the exact same thing for all the other states that contain a lead generation form. When you're finished, there's a couple more things you'll need to do and I will quickly walk you through them. So back here in the Thrive Leads dashboard, here is our lead group and we'll need to specify our display options. Here is where you can specify which pages or posts to show the items in this lead group. So for example, you can go to basic settings and you can choose the front page. You can also do all pages or all posts. You can also choose specific blog post categories, tags, formats, etc. You can also choose individual posts or individual pages, and you can also make use of exclusions. For now, I'll go ahead and select the front page only. So back in Thrive Leads, here is our lead group, and here is our light box. You can choose whether you want it to be displayed and also if you want it to be displayed on mobile. And let's go ahead and edit this. And you can choose a trigger. Right now it displays on page load, but you can choose to show it after a certain amount of time or when someone scrolls, etc. You can also choose a display frequency. This is nice so that users who return to your site won't see this light box every single time because that can be a bit annoying. For now, I'll show this light box once every seven days. And you can also choose an animation type. As you can see, there are quite a few options. I'll go ahead and use that one. And that's it. Your multiple choice opt-in is ready to go. Next, I'd like to show you how to add more choices to your opt-in if you need more than the two that come with the template. It's actually super easy. So right now I'm currently in the default state. Let's add a new button and I'll actually duplicate this one. And now I'll change the text. And since each button choice will take people to a different state, we'll need to add a new state. So I'll click the plus sign in the lower right hand corner. But instead of adding a new state, it's actually easiest to simply duplicate one of the current states and simply make edits. So let's duplicate state two. And let's go back to the plus sign to ensure that we do have a third state added. And this is the state that we're currently in. And then you can go ahead and customize the text and images, and you will also have to connect this form to your email marketing service and also make sure that it redirects to a new thank you page for this third opt-in offer. 
Now let's head back to the default state and let's connect this third button to our third state. So I'll select this button, make sure that button is highlighted in the breadcrumbs. Then I'll go to animation and action and let's go ahead and edit this action. Right now it's set to switch to state two. Let's go ahead and get rid of that and let's switch that to state three and click apply. All right, so that was how to use multiple choice opt-ins to get customer insights. Now, don't forget, this is just one of many kinds of opt-ins you can create with Thrive Leads. You can also create screen fillers, scroll mats, slide-ins, ribbons, and more. And Thrive Leads come with an array of templates for each one. You can get Thrive Leads along with the rest of our tools when you purchase Thrive Suite. Click the link in the description to learn more. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.